What up, Geminites? Gem in here with an updated room tour. This is January 29th, 2019. I haven't done a room tour in a while, and uh, a few people were asking me to do one, so it's not a, a complete collection. I guess it never really is. But I'll share with you guys some of the changes that I've made. I kind of need to vacuum this stuff. You'll, you'll notice some empty cubes. You'll notice some new statues, some statues that aren't here. So uh, the first notable thing, I'll take you guys out here to the outside of the loft, into the loft. And I ended up putting some calyx here and I put all my independent stuff like my image and Dark Horse, deluxe editions out here, the Valiant books. I used to have a PAX unit and a Besta out here with life-size busts. But when I maximized the space in here, I don't really, um, I didn't really need it anymore. So yeah, man, I, it actually doesn't fit another two by two cube up on the top, right? So I don't know. I just got it like this for now. I, I do, I do have the extra calyx out here that I figure I could, um, I could still put some stuff here, trade paperbacks or whatever. So, the loft, you know, we still got the one-up arcade Street Fighter. The Mortal Kombat one is coming out in September. Still got the little gaming area. Anyway. So, with moving those independent books out, what we have here is only Marvel omnibus and i have some oversized hardcovers at the bottom but every marvel omnibus ever released and it's a good feeling you know since starting the channel has really been a a reason to keep on top of my reading so a lot of these titles i've read and done reviews for and we have as you see a lot of empty cubes ready for the marvel omnibus that are coming out in 2019 that freed up this section to be all DC Omnibus and DC Absolutes. Eventually, the plan was to move the all the Absolutes out there. Because that's where all the other kind of Absolute style pieces are. Or books are. But for right now, it works. Still got the Marvel Cosmic section up here. We're going to add the XM Studios Star-Lord and Groot to uh, the Sideshow Galactus, Silver Surfer, and Thanos. You see, we got a little Festivus thing. Many Christmases ago, I went to buy a doll for my son. <laughs> the last one I had. But so did another man. As I rain blows upon him, I realized there had to be another way. As I rain blows upon him. So on top here, so I figured I'll end up putting some statues up here. We got the new Daredevil statue uh, up here. Got all the box sets. I got the Conan omnibus that I'm going to do a haul for as soon as this absolute flashpoint comes in. Got a couple slabs here. First appearance of Doctor Strange. First appearance of Annihilus. Got the uh, What If so Peter Parker Became Punisher. Akira. So that's pretty much it for the books. The Spider-Man wall is filled up nicely, man. We actually... Are running out of space, right? Because we have Scarlet Spider with Carnage all in one. And I have Miles Morales coming in from Sideshow. I have XM Doc Ock on pre order. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. We got the fan art, custom, whatever you want to call it, Doppelganger and Hobgoblin. My baby with the first appearance in 9.8. XM Studios Craven. Fan art Scarlet Spider, Sideshow Carnage, Fan art Morbius by uh, Franco Carlissimo, Mys uh, Mysterio by XM. I'm not a fan how that Morbius hangs over, but I had to make space for the for the big boy, Prime One Venom. He wasn't gonna go anywhere but a Pax, y'all. He's just too big. Next to Anti Venom. You know, we got the three Spider-Man in the middle. 
Prime One Spider Man twenty ninety nine Sideshow Comic Kit Old School Symbiote Premium Format by Sideshow, and then up top Vulture by XM and Rhino by Sideshow. Sideshow Green Goblin XM Scorpion. XM Electro and Kingpin, XM Lizard and uh, Sandman. So Spider-Man villains while looking fat. Up top, we still got some crap up top. I might move these books to that Calyx out in the loft though, but some old school Valiant, Omnis and hardcovers, Lock and Key. I might sell those Lock and Key books. I read them and I don't need to keep them. MCU box sets. <clears throat> Some trade paperbacks and Fresh Prince of Bel Air <laughs> DVD set. I might put Miles up there, to be honest. Then I'm over here working on my X Men wall. So you know we got you know we're doing all right. XM Studios Magneto, Fan Art Weapon X, Fan Art Age of Apocalypse Gene and Weapon X. I might sell these, man. I really like them. It depends on if I get my money back out of him. Sideshow Wolverine. I'm really only keeping him because it's going to go really good with the X-23 from Sideshow. Sideshow Sentinel and Apocalypse. Fan Art Jubilee. XM Storm. Really, these middle uh, pieces are going to be like the big fan art X-Men I got coming in. We got some minor slabs here, like first Molten Man, first Modoc, first Gamora, first Nebula, first um, appearance of the black suit in 9-8. Some IG Comic Store variants. Got the XM Phoenix. XM Dark Phoenix is on the way. Um, my first piece I ever pre-ordered. Sideshow's Wolverine vs. Hulk Maquette. And then the side, show, I'm sorry, the XM cable. So we're definitely going to get the sideshow juggernaut when it comes available. I have another fan art uh, that goes with Weapon X coming in, uh, a Sabretooth one. I got a Wolverine vs. Wendigo fan art coming in. Sideshow, I got Emma Frost coming, Rogue. What else? I got a bunch of X-Men pieces coming in. We're going to be maneuvering a lot. I did sell the Moon Knight, which was in here last time you guys saw. You know, a buddy of mine wanted to buy it. I wasn't married to it, so I sold it to him. And the Iron Studios Punisher, um, they told Sideshow they didn't have any replacements, so they offered me a partial refund or to return it, so I just returned it. I figured, screw it, you know. I'll just get the Sideshow Punisher when it comes out. And maybe that's what I'll do up here. I have Electra coming in. Maybe we'll do Sideshow Punisher. It would have been nice to have Moon Knight and Ghost Rider up there still, but what's done is done, you know? All right, so, um, oh yeah, I still got a couple books on the desk. I always forget about those boys. And I'm shopping for a new um, chair. I might be shopping for a new desk, man, because to be honest with you guys, this desk looks nice and everything. But it's not really functional, right? Like, the way that those shelves, uh, um, those drawers are, you can only really sit one person behind here. Otherwise, you keep banging your legs. So when me and Manimal do the live show, it's like a real pain in the ass, man. But, um, yeah, man. Let, let me know what you guys think about the updated room tour. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more room tours as we, you know, go on this X-Men journey. We're going to fill this bad boy up. We're going to maneuver, maneuver some pieces around and we're going to get this X-Men wall looking like this Spider-Man wall. You feel me? Yeah, look out for that fan art demo goblin too. All right, guys. Thanks for checking it out. Let me back up here. Yeah. <laughs> you guys stay minty fresh. Peace.